guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we learn power warp transition in Adobe After Effects. Without plugin, so let's get started. First we create a new composition, its name is transition and time duration to 3 seconds. Then we import a car and studio ping image. Pre-composes the car image and change the name is media holder. Then we create a new composition media holder its name is depth map. Then we go to the composition and save the first frame as a file. Then open Photoshop file, go to the filter, neural filter and click on depth blur. Enable the output depth map only, and click on OK. Delete the background layer and save the file. Drag the final file to the composition of the same name. Drag the file transition composition beneath the media holder. And turn off visibility. Select media holder or depth map, and move to 15 frame. Then we go to the effects and presets and search gradient wipe, apply on media holder layer. Select the depth map as a gradient layer. Check the invert gradient. And animate the transition completion property. Set a keyframe 100%, after 25 frame to the 0%. Last keyframe to easy in, transition softness to be 15%. Duplicate the depth map layer, and top of the timeline and turn on visibility, change the name scan line. Term of the end of the layer on a transition end. Add the extract effects on the layer, as well as fill and solid composite. Set the fill color to white, set the solid composite to white. The extract effect set black softness to the maximum and white point is to zero. Animate the white point and black point, set key starting frame to zero, and after some frame to the maximum. And set key into easy ease in. Animate the black softness, set a keyframe end of the zero. To make the scan line softer, increase the value of white softness. Then we add curves, tint, and glow effects to the layer.
change the white color of a tint effect to a similar blue. Set the blending mode of the glow effect to the screen. And set layer blending mode to add. Change the glow property to make the glow more expressive. Duplicate the depth map layer, and change name into shake map. Create a new adjustment layer, and change name into shake. Add a slider control and displacement map effect to the shake layer. Turn the layer duration by the transition duration. Here as the map selector shake map layer and source to be effect and masks. Set max horizontal displace to the zero. Enter the wiggle expression here frequency is 20. Align the amplitude to the slider control. Do the same for the max vertical displacement property. Then we increase the value of slider. Then we go the scan line, and copy the extract and solid composite, and pest to the shake map. Set the solid composite to the 50% of the gray. And the extract effect adjust the black softness property. Add a fast box blur to the shake map layer, and increase the radius. Now let's make shake amplitude, to do this. Now we create a new adjustment layer, name is warp. And add CC glass and CC vector. Term the extra part of the layer. Duplicate the depth map, and rename it warp map. Copy the extract and solid composite from the scan line layer. And paste on the warp map layer.
Now we add compound blur and fast box blur. Set the value of 200 of the compound blur, set fast box blur to 15. Now we go to the war player and change the value of CC glass and vector blur. Same as I do. Animate the softness and height, and set a key, of I do. Now adjust a vector blur effect. Add a wiggle expression on a angle offset property. And animate the amount property, increase to the end. Duplicate the war player, and rename to Aberration. Remove the vector blur effect from this layer. Add a two set channels, and set up the same as I do. Now duplicate the CC glass effect, between the these effects. And set is displacement is negative. Now we add shift channel to the shake layer. And set the shift channel to full on. Now we add a motion tile effect here, and adjust it as same I do. Now duplicate the media holder layer, and place above to aberration layer. Move the animation key same as I do. Now we duplicate the war player, and place it to the top. Rename into find distortion. Remove the vector blur effect, then duplicate the warp map layer, rename into find distortion map. Switch this layer to solo mode, the compound blur also will be removed. Now add a turbulent noise effect, and set it same as I do.
then we go to the fine distortion, edit to the CC glass effect, same as I do. and it's done. We successfully create a power warp transition in Adobe After Effect. Thank you.